Hello, this is Tamara with From the Treetop, and I'm going to show you how to load your actions into Photoshop Elements 6 through 10. Um, and this is going to be for Mac. Okay, so first you want to go ahead and um, find your hard drive and double click on it. And just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to look at it this way. Okay, and once you've done that, you're going to locate your library folder. Go ahead and double click that, then application support, Adobe, Photoshop Elements, your, your Elements version, in this case I'm using Elements 10, Photo Creations, and Photo Effects. And Photo Effects is where you're going to uh, be loading and pasting all of your actions. Now, uh, one thing that's important to remember before you start this process, please make sure that you have Photoshop Elements closed out, that it's not running in the background, that you've closed it out prior to starting this. So now that we have um, the folder open uh, where we're going to put our actions, let's go ahead and uh, copy our actions. When you download your From the Treetop um, actions, it's going to look something like this. You want to make sure that you're not copying and pasting anything other than what is inside the folder. In this case, it's, since it's Elements 10, we're going to use the 7 to 10 folder and open it. We're just going to select all and copy. Now all of these files are going to be ATN files, XML files and PNG files. So you shouldn't be pasting anything else aside from those three type of files into your photo effects folder. Okay. All right, so now that they're already placed there, we can move on to the next step. One thing that I do just to keep things easy so I don't have to go through that process every time I want to load new actions is I just pull that photo effects folder over to my sidebar over here. And so I actually have it here in the sidebar and that way every time I want to load I just open it up and it's just so much easier. So let's go ahead and um, back out a bit. Just click back and back. Okay, and right here under 10, under version 10, here's a list of more folders. You want to look for the locale folder. Now this is step two. So once you click on locale, you want to click on the ENUS, and then you're going to see a, um, a folder called the Media Database DB3 file. You want to go ahead and just delete that. And the reason you can delete this is because when you um, open Elements again, it's going to rebuild it anyway. So it's really important to delete that in order for your actions to run properly. So let's go ahead and close that out and let's open our Elements again. Now once you reopen Elements after installing new actions, it's going to take a while. You're going to get this message, the Building Content and Effects message, and it can take a good long time. So you can get up, take a break, go get something to drink, uh, but I wouldn't have anything else running in the background. I would just let it go because it it is um, a time-consuming process. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so now that that process is finished, let's see where our actions are. If you will go over here under the Effects tab and um, go ahead and click on the third little box here and you'll see that it's called photo effects click on that and there should be a list in this case I only have one set of actions loaded and that's the nostalgia actions so here they all are and you'll see them that they look like little boxes and each one has a description as to what action it is and um, if for some reason when you load these you're seeing little black squares um, that could be because you've either left a file out and you need to go back and repeat the process and just make sure that you are selecting every file in that folder or perhaps some other kind of file has gotten pasted in there by accident. So just be real careful when you're copying and pasting that you're only copying and pasting exactly what is in that folder into your photo effects. Okay, so let me go ahead and just open up an image and show you um, how they work. Okay, here's a sweet newborn. I'm going to choose the um, Peach Melba. It's one of my favorites for newborns. And I'm going to run it. 
And you can look down here and see how all these layers are starting to build and that's how the action works. It just goes in there and starts doing all these edits for you. And there's the after. And of course there's all kinds of other things we can run, but here is your before and here is your after using the actions and here is what it will look like when they are loaded into your Photoshop Elements 10. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too terribly confusing. I know loading um, actions into elements is a little bit of a challenge, but it can be done as you see, and hopefully this will help you with that. If you need um, detailed instructions in writing, if you go to our website, and at the end, at the bottom of a description of each of the action sets, there is a PDF booklet. You can just open that up and uh, go ahead and find installation instructions there, and they're for Mac and uh, Windows users as well. Thanks so much. Find more tutorials and actions at www.fromthetreetop.com.